In this lecture, I want to make short overview of the MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a service offered by MongoDB company. On mongodb.com website, click on Cloud and here MongoDB Atlas. In the previous lecture, we discussed installation of the MongoDB server on your local computer. This installation is good for development and educational purposes. But if you want to use MongoDB in production, you should consider, for example, this service. Or you can set up your own servers and configure everything yourself. But MongoDB Atlas offers fully functional production solution for MongoDB. And it is very easy to use. In order to use MongoDB Atlas, you need to have an account at mongodb.com. If you don't have it, you can create it here. After creation of the account, you will be able to create new MongoDB Atlas cluster. I have already created one, and I will show you now how it looks. Here is example of the cluster. Version of the cluster in my setup is 3.6.6. .6. If I click on the cluster 0, I will see three servers in the cluster. Those three servers are combined in the high reliable and high available replica set. It means that if one of the servers will fail, another will take over. This cluster is free and instance size is M0. If I'll go back to tab about MongoDB Atlas and scroll down here to the pricing, you will see that there is a free option with 512 megabytes of storage and shared RAM available. And this allows you to play with MongoDB Atlas, use it for development or educational purposes. But if you really need production version, you can consider other plans like basic, pro or enterprise. Ok, let's get back to the cluster and go back to the list of the clusters. Here near the cluster 0, click on the connect button and here in the pop-up window you'll see different connection methods that you can use in order to connect to this MongoDB Atlas cluster. Make sure that your public IP address is added to the IP whitelist. Now I'll show you how to connect to this MongoDB Atlas cluster from my local computer. I have already added my public IP address to the IP whitelist and now I'll click on the connect with the Mongo shell. And here I'll choose I am using shell 3.6 or later because I am using shell 4.0.0. Click on this option and here I'll see command that I need to use in order to connect to this MongoDB Atlas cluster. Just click copy here, then open new terminal window, here it is, and here paste this command. Of course I have created this admin user before, because it is remote connection and you will be prompted to create new admin user during creation of the new cluster. Let's go back and press enter. Enter password for this admin user. And here we are, I have successfully connected to the MongoDB Atlas cluster. You may notice warning here, shell and server versions don't match. That's because I use MongoDB shell version 4.0.0 and MongoDB server version is this one. Of course, it's recommended to use same versions of the MongoDB shell and MongoDB server. But for basic operations, it doesn't matter. And here I can use same command db.version and I'll get version of the MongoDB server and it is 3.6.6. .6. In this example, I have connected to the remote MongoDB server, that is a MongoDB Atlas cluster that consists of three servers and they have connected from local MongoDB shell. If you want, you can create MongoDB account, create new cluster and do the same. But for the rest of the course, I'll use MongoDB server installed on my local computer. This one. Ok, let's move on and in the next lecture we will explore MongoDB shell. See you there. Bye.